I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <sighs> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! To him. But... Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <sighs> they took everything from us, again. not true. Hmm. Thank you. You should rest up while you can. Likewise. No, I'm good. Real good. <laughs> Besides, when I close my eyes, I start thinking about things. About people. Like 
Finn, lazy little punk. Kid would do damn near anything except what you told him. But ask him to paint you a picture, and boy, howdy. Those stamps in the tunnels. Finn's work, every one. Then there's Al, Intel guy. He had these tricks for steel and codes I still don't understand. Stole his share of hearts, too. But when it came to the ladies, he just had the one trick. Bouquet of flowers hidden behind his back. Funny to think, some of them might have even come from here. He pulled a flower trick on Tifa once, believe it or not. <laughs> she told him where to stick them. Of course she did. Our quartermaster Nelly had a good laugh at that. She was tight with Jesse. People sometimes took him for sisters, even. They'd say, no way, and get upset. But then they'd start giggling and, you know. Yeah, they'll all be fine. They're strong. They're tough, like me. After we save Aerith, I'll introduce you to them. Sounds good. <laughs> Never thought I'd feel better after talking with your hard-boiled ass. Think you can sleep now? Oh yeah, like a baby. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... You need to embrace this moment, right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared, for all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real.
Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? She was kinda... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. <sighs> You'll come back, right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay. You can go. She's tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. My fellow Grounders, listen up! Because boy, do I have some news for you! The office must be crazy right now. So after bombing reactors 1 and 5, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out my reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. 
topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <clears throat> will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right. I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Don't start running again. Ever. I've got a I sister to the What's the world coming to? What were you thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again? I told you to stop calling me that. Bro! I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand! Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is, <laughs> I got mugged. She took it, took it all, man. <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did. But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. <sighs> What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I want to get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah, she was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. Oh, it's you, my good Merc. What brilliant timing you have. Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. 
Jones and my son. The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that angel of the slums has struck again. Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I've decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the Angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. What? It wasn't me! You've got the wrong girl! Never committed a crime in my life! You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Whew, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that Merc everyone's talking about. Huh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? <laughs> Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please. Just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split the second I do! And then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal. Right about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. You'll get your key once I know I'm safe. Yeah. Hey, 
Nothing personal. That's a win. Okay then, that makes three. We better check in at Sam's. There's the champ with a heart of gold. My babies are all back home, safe and sound. Now I can finally get back to the business of business. Thanks, partner. Here, y'all learn this. It's a pass that'll get you a ride on one of my carriages whenever you need it. Free of charge, of course. Not bad, am I right? Chocobos or something else. You can ride them, pet them, befriend them. What would we do without them? They're the reason a guy like me can keep a roof over his head in a town like this. And that's no lie. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for doubting that coming from me, but it is what it is. Oh, there you all are. You're not gonna believe it. But well, the chocobos are back. We can finally resume services. I really owe you one. They're patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Hey, I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. I could really use her help. She always knew where to find the best herbs, and... You haven't seen her, have you? I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So, what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. You'd be doing this town a huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. Hey, Cloud. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. Everyone disappeared. Heads up. <laughs> no holding back. Any time now. You're done. you kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> 
with good hearts. The kids are back. I'm so relieved. Thank you for your help. I need to carry myself with more confidence, or these kids are gonna walk all over me. Do we really have to deal with Corneo again? Got no other choice. What? Did you guys get into it with him or something? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, Cloud! What ha- Don't recall. If it isn't Cloud. We're looking for a way topside. No one? Good luck with that. Security's so tight these days that not even a gnat could slip through. Walmart gets in a sorry state, too. Corneo's men are turning it upside down looking for Avalanche. Hmm? The man with a gun for an arm. What? Got a problem? No, but you might. Corneo's men are searching high and low for an Avalanche member who fits your description. Shinra has placed a very impressive bounty on you and your friends' heads. Oh, Cloud! Thank goodness you're here! A group of Corneo's men just came through, headed for Aerith's place. I don't know. You really think this gun arm dude will come back instead of running? Oh, you bet your ass he'll come back. Now shut up and keep your eyes. Hey, it's him! Gun arm! Heard you punks were looking for me. Didn't want to keep you waiting. Wait, you? Ah, uh, should have known you were one of them. But am I? Whatever. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, let him loose. Uh, sure. Ha. Y'all are in for a world of hurt now. Pack him to bits, you hear me? Leave the faces, though. Shinra ain't gonna give us the bounty otherwise. Ah! Just in case. Ah! All right. We give up, uh, okay? We won't say a word to no one about you being here. Really. Honest. That's right. You'll tell everyone we were never here. That the rumors were bullshit. And if we hear about you, or any of your friends, coming around here ever again... You'll answer to my boot. Yes, sir! Uh, miss? Oh, champ! Couldn't have picked a better time. This Kyrie chick totally flaked on her match, which means we're down a fighter, and we can't exactly pit the other guy against himself. What do you say? Mind taking her spot? I'll take it. Sweet! You're a real Walmart hero, man. Crowd's gonna go wild when they see you. The hell you doing here? Where's the girl, Kyrie? That thieving little pipsqueak. Guess who he's the guy she's running from? Kyrie's not coming. He'll have to make do with us. Whatever. I can roll with it. After all, you and me, we got unfinished business. In a shocking turn of events, our next bout is now a grudge match. Which of these two will claim victory in today's Angel Cup? Fighters, begin! Let's do this. Let's be smart. Don't overdo it. Don't look now, but it's about to get real. Our reigning champion does 
it again. Not only does he retain his crown, but now he can add Beast Whisperer to his list of impressive achievements. Ha! That wasn't too much trouble. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. So how'd it go? Well enough. If they're smart, they won't send anyone else. Really? Oh, that is so good to hear. Learn your lesson, girl? Totally. From now on, I only steal from the right people. That ain't the lesson. Oh, talk about a weight off my shoulders. Oh, I completely lost track of time. I'd better get going. Hold it. Uh, Grandma! Why are you here? You, young lady, are gonna hear about this later. Thank you for keeping her out of trouble. She say Grandma? What? Did I forget to mention it to you? Kyrie is my granddaughter, my flesh and blood. See? We even have the same eyes. Kyrie, the key. You've kept them waiting long enough. Yeah, yeah. What's it for, anyway? Why do you guys want it? And how's that any of your business, young lady? Learn to wipe your own ass before you start rooting around in other people's shit. Ugh, Grandma, cut it out! You're embarrassing me! Me embarrass you? Says the girl who steals from anyone. Even a thief needs principles. Not to mention the courage of convictions to follow their conscience. Take it from me, the guardian angel of the slums. Wait a minute. You're the angel? And you three are avalanche. <sighs> There's a fire in you. I can see it flickering in your eyes. That same fire's in me too. The guardian angel of the slums, avalanche. They're just names. We are who we choose to be. But you have to decide who that is and commit. Make the most of your time when you still have it. Right? <laughs> I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the rumors are true. My head is spinning. My wallet! My precious wallet! You really did it, bro! I knew I could count on you! For the last time, don't call me that. Thank you. Now I can get out of town. You're leaving? Hush, Tifa. Don't try to stop me. I'm a wanted man in these parts. If I stayed, I'd be a danger to you, too. Uh, okay? But if you begged me to stay, I could reconsider throwing everything away. Good luck out there, Johnny. Oh, uh, okay. You'll be fine wherever. You're Johnny. Don't forget. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I am! I'm your Johnny, Tifa, and nothing's gonna bring me down! Bro, Tifa, keep on shining. Johnny, out. And I was looking forward to my first train. Team. <laughs> Who would have thought, huh? <laughs> okay, then. Y'all think we got everything? Question is, now what? It's not gonna be easy selling this stuff. Oh, I know. What about Mara? We could ask her to help. I'm sure she'd be happy to. Oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. 
They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The Angel of the Slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use it more than me. Oh, hey, Barrett. Hey, how's it going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them, I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. There is one, hidden underground somewhere, and it's full of monsters. So, Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time before these monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but... But no one else can do it. Well, yeah. So help us out. took care of those monsters? Oh, thank you. That's one less big problem to worry about. We owe you. I know it's tough right now, but stay strong, you hear? You too, buddy. But hey, we're grounders. We don't break easy. I know it's not much, but take this with my thanks. We ought to be able to move more freely now. Oh, did you manage to get everything I needed? Thank you. This ought to be more than enough. I can see why Aerith put her trust in you. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. You've done more than your fair share already. Here, take this. I'm betting it'll come in handy. We'll all be back on our feet soon enough. It's been hours now. Don't you think you've done enough? Believe me, I have enough. Nope. Not yet. Andy! Well, well. What do we have here? I can see your summoner likes to train to be the very best. Me? Your physique. Slender yet toned. And that perfectly balanced symmetry. I can tell from a glance that you learn from the best there is. But your muscles look tight. Which can only mean one thing. You're conflicted. Tifa? Excuse me. You're Tifa, right? While you're here, want to give Andy a run for his money? Work up a sweat, release some endorphins. It's the answer to everything, I promise. I'm in, if you are. All right then, the winner will be the one who does the most pull-ups. Let's not disappoint each other. Your form's looking good! <laughs> you killed the shower. It seems you bested me, Tifa. I can't believe... I won. 
your fiery passion pushed me to my limits and helped me to overcome my lingering stress and fatigue. I'll be taking the stage tonight in the best condition of my life. Thank you. No, thank you for the same. To commemorate the evening. I would be honored if you joined me on stage for a performance someday. <laughs> No one's home. <laughs> Long time no see. What brings you back here? Well, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us! Follow me. <clears throat> Let's just hear him out. So, what's the deal with the hole? Unfinished business. If you three give me a hand with it, I'll give you what you need to get topside. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. All right. We're in. Say what? He betrays us. He dies. Fine by me. He means it. I'll tell you more after we've climbed down. When you're good to go, let me know. You guys ready? Okay. Follow me. Seriously, what's the deal with the hole? It's a trap for the Don's enemies. What? No one's ever gotten out alive. Well, until recently, that is. You are gonna hold up your end of the bargain, right? Long as you hold up yours, yeah. I don't trust you and I don't like you. So if you so much as breathe in a suspicious way, I'll turn that face of yours into a honeycomb. I'd save your bullets for the monsters if I were you. Some are a lot tougher than you'd think. Hate to say it, but I can barely take them on my own. You, on the other hand, shouldn't have any trouble, am I right? Let's get this over with. Head for the trunk line. It marks the border with Sector 7. You three lead the way. I'll follow a short distance behind. The Mark of Avalanche. Right. Jesse and Big stashed the skeleton key down here. I never got the chance to thank them for what they did. Tifa. Let's just keep moving, okay? Hate to interrupt, but the trunk line's just through that door. The one over there? Yeah, we heard you. Maybe. About time. This way. There should be a door with Corneo's mark on it around here somewhere.
Hey, wasn't this locked before? Your time to shine. Clear the path ahead, would you? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you something? Why did you help us out before? You could have lost everything. Andrea, he told me to. That really it? And I couldn't bring myself to let it happen again. Huh? It doesn't matter. Let's go. Close to Corneo's hideout. From here on, I'll take the lead. This is it? Yeah. So, how are we supposed to get topside? Through here. Then you're telling me we're not done? Sorry, guys, but it's not that simple. Huh? <laughs> Without it, we're screwed. Let's go. Bastard went that way. Give it back. That's... Give it back.
That's not a key. Sorry. That's not your pendant either. Were they family? No. It was all just a dream, wasn't it? But one day? No. Time to wake up and forget. Six months ago. On that day, Corneo picked her as a bride, and on the next, she vanished without a trace. But before she did, she gave it back. Salt on the wound. Thing cost me a small fortune. Why did you want to come down here? Revenge. I know I need to let go, but I can't. I need closure, because without it, I'll never be able to move on. It's fine. As long as you get us topside, we're still in. Thanks. And don't worry. I got you. <sighs> you all right. I know a shortcut. Follow me. That twisted piece of shit. I'm gonna enjoy beating him to a pulp. Cornell's mine, and mine alone. Huh? Please. Fine. Wait outside. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? It's Leslie! Got some urgent info for the Don! <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Ah. Uh. I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! 
Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Good, Abzu. Feel free to play with your food. Donna. Bastard. First him, then Corneo. You okay? Where's Cornell? Sorry. Bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? <sighs> we'll meet again. It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need. Ah, taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> this way. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped-up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order. Just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right.
Hope you find it. You too. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? Huh. <laughs> 